Hello YouTube, it's me again with the same problem that I had before. Um, if you haven't seen on my channel, I have a post, a, a video, explaining an issue that I'm having with my electronics on my uh, 144001. Um, I bought a new setup. I mean, it's a cheap setup, so I want to test it out, you know, see how much it, how long it lasts. Anyway, so I got the ESE, the receiver, and this motor, and the transmitter um, from AliExpress. And that's the transmitter that came with it, which, you know, no, no big deal. It's just a transmitter. I mean, nothing fancy. So in the video that I posted before, um, if you look at my video, if you go to my channel, you'll see that I posted a video where the servo was acting extremely glitchy. The trigger response and, and the movement on that was okay, uh, not optimal, but it was working. But my problem was that the servo wasn't working. So I decided to buy a new transmitter and receiver because I wanted one anyway, so it's not wasted money. So I went and got me this. I got me the uh, Dumbo RC and uh, the X6, and then I got the nifty, let me unplug the wires here, um, X6FG. So I said, well, that's going to solve the problem, and I'm going to be running in no time. Well, it's a good thing that it's raining today because it's not working, and I couldn't get it fixed, and I'm still waiting on other parts to build my basher anyways. I, uh, long story short, I only have two cars, and neither of them are running. So anyway, so, I, so just for the demonstration purposes, here's my servo, and here is the transmitter, okay? So just so that you can see that I'm plugging everything how it should be plugged in. Let me unplug the battery. To not have power running okay so I got the X6FG for the Dumbo RC with the black lead facing out okay it's the way that this particularly works and then you plug it into channel 1 see black lead out so troubleshooting wise if you have suggestions there you go no wires attached in reverse or nothing like that channel 1 then I'm gonna take my nifty ESC here and I'm going to plug it in, same way that I plugged in the other one, black out, and plug it into the receiver. All right, I have the receiver plugged in, I have the servo plugged in, here's the servo, and I am going to apply power to it now, switch is off. I got a 3S battery, okay, 2200 milliamp 3S battery which is in storage charge, but it should have enough at least to move the servo and run the electronics for a test. Or so I thought, and I'm sure, I mean, I know it does, but just, it's not working. So, have power, have everything plugged in correctly. Here's my little switch. Turn everything on, listen. I actually have the ESC wire for the fan unplugged because just for this video so you wouldn't hear the fan the whole time all right so turn this on okay got electronics on waiting on the transmitter turn transmitter on all right there you go everything's locked into place so trigger wise we're good Okay, very good response. Alright, so it breaks. And then you can go in reverse. Reverse by the program card, which is programmed to default parameters, is set to 49, which is fine with me. I don't need to go fast in reverse anyway. So, then everything seems fine until you get here. Then you try to steer, all right, so let's go. It, if you go slow, it responds, but as soon as you start doing this number, see, at some point it starts getting really glitchy and it doesn't respond how it should. Okay, that's what it does with any receiver transmitter combination that I do. So now I'm suspecting I've eliminated the transmitter and the receiver. It's not that. So now we're talking about servo or the ESC itself. 
I have a servo coming in the next few days, but if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. So the other thing that I did was how much power is coming from the ESC to the servo, which, you know, it should have, what, five or above or below? Not sure. You let me know. So now I have went a step ahead and decided to put a voltmeter on my right here into the receiver to see how much power is coming into this receiver on channel one. So I plug, I'm, I'm going on red and black leads. Be careful when you put that black lead in so you don't shorten that now. Oh, okay, let's go again. Hold it there. Got 5.8 volts. And if you turn while the voltmeter is plugged in. Here, hold up. See, it gives you a couple of good responses and then it starts going glitchy again. Just do not understand what's going on. Any thoughts, please leave it in the comments. And if you don't know, please talk to someone that can point me in the right direction. Thank you for watching and God bless.